Hey guys, a video to teach you about tapping, which is a 30 second process that will immediately release you of any stress or emotion that you're carrying that you know is getting in the way. I had a student who on her April ACT desperately needed tapping. Uh, she was doing so well in her practice, but then she went into the test and just all the assignments and expectations of junior year, junior spring, which is intense, they're swimming around in her head and she just, she couldn't focus and concentrate on the test in front of her. So uh, after I heard about that, and, and she did a lot worse than, than she was doing in the practice. So from then on, I was like, oh, uh, I need to teach everyone, all my students tapping. Uh, and it's so useful. It's not just good before a test. It's good to help you fall asleep at night. It's good before a big presentation, before a big game, anything where you know you're just carrying too much emotion uh, and you want to get rid of it. You can do the tapping and 30 seconds later, you will be uh, so much lighter and free of whatever that emotion is. It comes from uh, Eastern medicine um, and it's tapping into that wisdom around energy meridians in the body and pressure points. And when you tap them, something that Western medicine will show you is the amygdala in the brain uh, calms and stops releasing so much cortisol and stress and, and firing off that emotional reactive part of your brain. Um, and so you're light and you're just present for whatever it is you're doing next. Another student of mine used it a couple weeks ago for her AP exams, uh, and she said it, it worked so well for her. And another student is using it at night to help her go to sleep, um, and she says it's working as well. So let's do it. Let me show it to you. So what you do is you take two fingers, a uh, pointer and middle finger, and you're going to tap these different pressure points. Now, whether you tap the exact ones I'm going to show you today or different ones, it doesn't really matter. I've seen different people tap different points. Um, and also, we're going to say something at each point that we tap. And what you say does not have to be like exactly the same as all as what I say. I'll give you the basic framework and you'll actually start filling it in with your own words and it's gonna work just as well. Um, so here goes. First place we're gonna tap is just above the brow, the eyebrow. And the first place you tap is about acknowledging the feeling and where you feel it on your body. And let's just check in right here. Are you experiencing any stress right now, worry, anxiety, fear, that you know is more than is helpful and you love to let some of it go? You know you're gonna be a better you once you do that. All right, you got something like that? Check in from zero to 10, 10 being the strongest. How strongly are you feeling that emotion right now? Okay, just remember that, remember that number. All right, so we're gonna start. And so the first place we tap just above the brow and we're just gonna say, you know, as my student would have said in April, I acknowledge this feeling of fear and overwhelm, which I feel in, you know, places A, B, and C in my body, which I feel, you know, maybe in my belly, behind my eyes, and in my chest. Second place we'll tap is just to the side of the eye. And you can do this, by the way, with two hands if you want, or one hand, um, doesn't matter, both work. So, Say all the other spots we're gonna tap, by the way, we're just gonna say something, and you can make it up on the spot, something about letting this feeling go. I'm gonna say, I am letting this feeling go. Next place, just under the eye. It feels good to let this feeling go. I'm just making this up on the spot. Just above the mouth. I'm so happy to be letting this feeling go. Just below the mouth. Right above the chin. Oh, I feel this feeling leaving me. And you can say this to yourself out loud or in your mind's voice. Now along the back of your neck. I'm so grateful that this feeling is releasing. Now the collarbone just off the center of the chest. Oh, it feels good to let this feeling go. Last one is just on the underside of the hand. This feeling is leaving me. The last step we're doing, we're gonna take, we're gonna do is take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, you're just gonna say the word peace to yourself in your mind's voice. Check in. Do you feel lighter? Um, do you feel that emotion less? And so zero to ten, how strong is it for you right now? And usually people, you know, if they start out at a seven, they're usually down to about a three after the first run through. And if you want to get it to a two and a one and a zero, do this one, two, three more times. And so it's just tapping right above the brow, acknowledging the feeling and where it is in the, in the body, where you notice it. Side of the eye, anything about letting it go. Under the eye, 
letting it go, blow the mouth, letting it go, blow the mouth, letting it go, back of the neck, letting it go, collarbone, letting it go, underside of the hand, letting it go. And if you did some other pressure points that you looked up on Google or know about or missed some of those pressure points, it doesn't matter. As long as you're hitting some of them, saying something about first acknowledging it and then just let it go, let it go, let it go, guaranteed uh, you are going to be free and light from that emotion. Uh, and ready to do whatever it is the next thing in front of you. You'll be light and present for it and, and in flow.